Hey, welcome back to our Super Mario Bros. X level editor tutorial. This time, we will be covering advanced settings, sort of, I guess. Now, advanced NPC settings. Most of these, well, actually all of these settings, are only applicable to certain enemies. So, for example, um, let's see, I'll choose this guy. And then, as you can see, if I choose a Koopa Paratroop thing, then then this thing becomes thingable. And basically you can change, like if I do jump, then basically he'll just, you know, on the level, he'll jump up and down and stuff. And then if I do chase, then um, I don't believe... The chasing guys were used very much in the original invasion thing, but basically, if I place a chasing guy, then he'll just go all wacky and chase you, sort of. Then hover left and right is basically if I place this guy, he'll just hover left and left and right in the air. And then the same for up and down, he'll just hover up and down. Now, the, the cheap, cheap, I gotta find a cheap, cheap sushi. There we go. Now, basically, this does... Well, what Swim does is, basically, if I would replace this guy in the water, then he would kind of swim like this, and then he'd go up and down sometimes, like... I'll, I'll, I'll show you in some time. And, and jump basically means he'll, like, swim left and right a little bit, and then he'll jump out like they do in... Super Mario World, and projectile is pretty much the f equivalent of the fish generator in Super Mario World, except it's not a generator, it's just one fish, so the dude will just go like, Wee! like that, and then swim left and right is just swim left and right, and then swim up and down is swim up and down. Now next up, I'll just show you here, I already have this placed, um, basically what I did was I chose this object under warps and then I just did berries yet buried yes and then this warp to section option is um, I believe it's only applicable to these two items um, and yeah so you just select the section that you want it to warp you to and then you place it and you know works on works on doors too. I'll just put that like right there. And then when I enter, say this door for example, or if I um, uh, pull this out from the ground and then throw it and it makes a door, then um, I will be transported to section 2 since that's what I have it set to at the equivalent location there. I'll, I'll show you. Now fire bar I believe is only applicable to this NPC right here under Super Mario Bros. So basically you just pick the position. One would be the center one, so it's um the radius of its rotation will be pretty small. It'll just you know be small. And then I could do two and then place this like right there. And then three and then four. And basically each time you increase the number, the um radius that it spins around will get bigger. So I'll just do like five, but I'll put it like way out there uh, 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 uh. wait no actually that won't work because yeah don't don't be stupid like this that will not work because you have to do one two three four five six seven let's let's just do seven so 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 then I'll place that right there because if I did five then it would be like rotating like this while these would be yeah I, I think you get the idea. Now this legacy boss option, apparently, like, I'm not completely sure, but apparently it's not really that useful. Like, apparently it used to be more useful in, like, earlier versions, but now they, in this version, they've, like, improved stuff, so it doesn't really have that much of a use anymore. Like, you could do everything that this option does in the events um, option just as easily so it kinda doesn't really have that much of a use now so I wouldn't I wouldn't really worry about it if, 
if I were you, but I'm not you, so you're not me, so, so, uh, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Now, let's just, yeah, that guy's beast chasing me, and, and that's a fire bar, hello there, and, see, that's what the swim option does, it makes the fish swim, like that, and then, if I pull this out, and then throw it, and then it goes right there. Section 2 is exactly the same as this section, except the enemy placement is a little bit different, so see, I enter this, and and now, well, I guess I removed the water too, but you know. So, so this is what, this is what those things do. Ouch. Suppose I'll show the generator option here too. So basically in NPCs, what generator does is it's, as you'd expect, a generator, and it generates whatever NPC you have selected. So let's say I have this roly-poly guy selected, and I do generator. Yes! Well, this will make a generator of it. I'm being, I'm being pretty dang specific and stuff. Anyways, the delay. This is how long the generator will wait in between um, firing intervals. So basically, um, you select the direction that you want the uh, that you want the NPC to come out of. So I'll just do up because I'll make it come out of like right there. And then effect warp or projectile. What warp does is like if I do warp and I set this guy right there, then basically he'll it'll just be like boop, and then he'll come. But then projectile makes it go like and then he goes flying up and then back down and stuff. Now the advanced level settings. Just uh like I've never I've never opened I've like I've never even touched the overworld editor. So you know, that's that's a thing. But I'm assuming what level name would do is it would um like when you go to the level on the overworld, it'll display whatever you have in here as the name. So I'm assuming that's what that does. It might be wrong. Because, like I've said, I've never touched the overworld editor ever. And this clone section option. Basically, where there where it says source, you collect you select the section that you would like to clone, so I'll just do section one because why not? And then let's say I want to clone it to section three. I'll put target section three and then I'll just hit clone. And now this is section three. And see it's exactly the same as section one. So, and now I move the generators down a little bit because I noticed that like they take priority over the 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 sizable guys. So you know it didn't look very good when they did stuff. But anyways, yeah. So this is the guy that's getting his hair done all pretty. Yeah, that that makes a lot of sense. Way to go, Mike. All right, now for the warps and doors advanced stuff. So let's let's just let's do this. No Yoshi. Basically what no Yoshi does is if I set this to yes, then I, you know, set my warps and whatever. Whenever Mario tries to enter the warp, he will be forced to abandon Yoshi in order to go into the warp. Now, allow NPC is basically if you have this set to yes, then Mario will be able to, for example, carry a key through the through the warp or you know a p-switch or whatever but if you have the set to no then you will not be able to and yes basically means you'll need a key in order to go into the warp now the warp to level option basically if you want this warp to lead to another level entirely then you would type in the level name um, and then you would just set what kind of warp you want it to be I'll just do a pipe because why not and I want the entrance direction to be moving down and then if I place it say right there then um, notice how like it places a little bit differently because it's warping to a new level entirely so basically what this will do is when you enter this then you'll just go to the start of the um, of the level you specified but well here I'll just I'll go to the other level so let's say let's say you want it to warp to another level but you don't want to start at the start you want it to like come out somewhere else in the level that's not the start well what you'll do about that is you'll just put um, 
Like, let's say when I want the person, like when ugh, I want the person to go through the warp on the other level, and then let's say I want them to come out of here in this level, like a pipe, instead of starting at the start right here. But what I do is I would just create a warp. Um, oh, that's fine. I'll just like put the entrance there and the exit there, you know, whatever. Um, and then, yeah, so since um, I want the player to come out here, I'll put the exit right here so that they'll exit there. Now I'll just save and then go back here. And then, in order for that to happen, um, I will do. I'll change this to warp one because you know each you know each time you place a warp it goes one and then two and then three and so on. Well, if in the other level it's say warp three, then I would change this to you know warp three or whatever number the um, exit of the warp is. That's the number that you want to change this to. So since it was warp one in the other level, I'll change this to warp one, and then. I'll just place it, say, right there, and then when I enter this, I should exit out of the warp in that other level. Now, the level exit option. Basically, what's this, what, what this does is, let's say you want to have it so that the player just goes into an exit or a warp, and then it just ends the level, and then they just come out on the overworld again. Well, basically, what you do is you would check this box, and then where it says warp to map location, I have never actually touched the overworld editor at all, but what I'm assuming that this does is you find the coordinates of where you want the person to um, come out of on the overworld once they go down the warp, and then um, you just put the coordinates in here, and then when they go through the warp, then they'll um, come up on the overworld at the location you specified here. Like I said, I've never used the overworld editor, so I, I don't know that for sure, but that's, it seems like it would make sense here, right? So you just check this, put the coordinates, and then put the warp wherever, and then, you know, it would be all good. Hopefully this doesn't completely destroy my computer, but I'll, I'll try this just to show you that it works. Hopefully I have a kind of a pretty bad computer, can't handle much, it's a poopy computer, but hopefully... Hopefully, this will work without too many problems. Yeah, one player stuff. Yeah. So now I made it so that we start here. And then right here, when I go through this, I should go to the start of the other level. So let's see. Yes, indeed. Yeah, now I started right here at the start of that level. Now, if I redo this and then go into the entrance of the one over here... Then, when I go through here, I should come back out at that other um, entrance, exit thing, exit, see, right there. Now, I forgot to mention, what if you want a player to warp from one level to another, and then you want them to come out of some exit in that other level, but you don't want that exit in particular to have, like, an entrance. You just want it to be an exit where they could come out of. Well, if you check this box, level entrance, then that basically means that, like, say I place this, um, then it would be three. So then if in some other level, I, um, I, I set it so that they enter some warp and then exit here on number three, then, you know, stuck. Yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this helped. See you next time.